Okay, so one thing that you definitely need to know about is the MIDI Fighter utility. This software is gonna allow you to update your controller, change its settings, and of course, customize how the buttons look. To get it, just go to midifighter.com, underneath 3D, click on the support and downloads link. Now the first thing you're gonna see is whether or not your 3D is updated. You'll see right now that mine is up to date, but if it's not, you'll have a message right here that says a new firmware is available for you. And all you need to do is click update now. And it's gonna go ahead and do everything automatically for you, including downloading the latest firmware from our servers, putting the device into bootloader mode, updating it, resetting it, and doing everything basically automatically. Get a nice pretty light show, and then your MIDI fighter is up to date and ready to use. The first thing you'll probably want to do is look at the settings. We'll go back into this in a little bit of detail. Once you make an adjustment to any of these, you're going to click send to MIDI fighter, and it'll go ahead and update the unit automatically. You'll probably want to go to the color tab, and here is where you customize exactly what these buttons look like. By default, they'll all be black, and black is here. This outer ring is the inactive color, or what the button looks like when it's not pressed, and the inner ring is the active color, or what it looks like when it's pressed. You've got two sets of colors here, dim versions and bright versions. I like the bright versions, so let's go ahead and make the active color red and the inactive color white for bank one. You've got four different banks of options here. And in bank two, let's go ahead and make the inactive color purple and the active color blue. It's that easy. We're just gonna send a MIDI fighter. And then you'll notice that in bank one, there it is, in bank two. Now you'll notice that when I hit these buttons, you're seeing a nice trail effect that's happening here. That is in the settings tab. Here you've got a bunch of different animation options. The spark effect, which is what you just saw, you can disable or enable. The pitch button, which is this animation here, you can enable or disable. And finally, the edge tilt, which is when you tilt the controller, you can see the colors wipe up and over the controller. You can disable that there. Next up, you've got a bunch of motion options. You've got the rotation options, so global pitch is if you want a CC to be sent all the time, just one CC that shows you where the controller currently is in its rotation, or button pitch, which is the same thing, but for each individual button on each bank. So you can turn those on or off. I recommend you have global pitch off because it makes it really challenging to map the controller. You can also change the tilts. Maybe you want to turn some of those specific tilts on or off. You can disable them all right there. Moving up, you've got bank buttons. You could have four banks, four banks disabled, and four banks hold. At any time, if you want to go back to the default, because you feel like you may have screwed something up, and most of our mappings are built for the default setting, all you have to do is go to Tools, MIDI Fighter, Factory Reset. Okay, next up, important option here. We've got super combos. As you might know, we have some special super combos built into the MIDI fighter. One that everyone knows is if you press all these four buttons at the same time, fifth note is sent out super combo. You can enable or disable those. Software mode is pretty important. You wanna have this selected for the software of your choice, Ableton or Tractor. In Ableton mode, the buttons and the CCs on each axis have been customized so they work really well with Ableton and allow you to momentarily turn effects on or off and easily map all of these controls. In tractor mode, it's regular notes on here and lots of extra stuff on the CCs so you can map all kinds of super combos in those directions. All right, so moving up, you have MIDI velocity. If you want to adjust the velocity of the notes when you press them, you can adjust that. And last but not least, of course, you can adjust what channel the MIDI fighter sends out its MIDI messages on. By default, it's set to three. You want to keep it that way if you plan on using our map. So there's the MIDI fighter utility. We will be releasing updates for both the utility and for the firmware. So make sure you go to midifighter.com and click on the support downloads tab and enter your email so we can automatically send you emails for when we release updates to both the utility and your firmware as we will be constantly improving the behavior based on your feedback and your input.